first step of the archaeological method is background research. During this step, you need to look, gather as much information as possible before you start the dig. For the dig, you need to know three important steps. Where are you digging? What are you looking for? And what are the tools you need to bring? You need to know these three important steps so you don't get lost during the dig. As you can see, our team is hard at work finding information about the, the Battle of Thermopylae. Oh. The second step of the archaeological method is the excavation process. During this step, the archaeologists start to dig for the artifacts they are trying to find. A permit is required for the dig. Before you are able to dig, the site must be carefully surveyed to make sure it is safe to dig. Safety is the most important part of the step. Equipment is brought in as well as what the workers who each have to find both. People know what they are doing, the process can be effective. After the excavation is done, it is reported to a grid plan. This is done to show will life come out successful. As you can see, our team is carefully excavating the artifacts from the ground. Some what that we have found from ancient Greek. A helmet, a sword, a diary page, a shield, an ancient pen, and a spear. The archaeological method is analysis. This step is when you carefully uncover the artifacts and examine them in the lab. The amount of time excavating the artifacts in the field is 10 times the amount of time you spend in the lab. During the time you are in the lab, you have to ask these four questions. What is it? How old is it? What does it do? And did they make it or did they trade for it? One artifact we discovered is a shield from was from 480 BC when the Battle of Thermopylae took place. The shield protects you from incoming weapons and opposing fighters. The Greeks or Persians made the shields so they would be protected during war. Yeah. The fourth step of the archaeological method is publication. You want to publish your findings by putting all of them into one document so people are able to locate them in later years. You also want to publish your findings so you can receive credit for what you have found. We are, we are also organizing them so, you, so they are able to be put into one document. As you can see here, our team leader, Will, is working on an artifact. This is a sword we found from the dig site of the Battle of Thermopylae. The last step of the archaeological method is preservation. The purpose of preservation is to make sure that the artifacts are not damaged, stolen, or deteriorate over time, so that even hundreds of years later they can still be carefully observed while in good condition. Future scientists can often analyze artifacts with new tools and techniques and may be able to even make new discoveries. As you can see, the team is preserving all the artifacts we've excavated from the battle site of Thermopylae.